Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for deciding to click on today's video. We are going to be reviewing the brand new BFF collection from Becca Cosmetics. This one is the one in collaboration with Khloe Kardashian and also her best friend Malika. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the application of both of the face palettes. We'll be swatching everything and I'll be sharing my thoughts on the entire collection. So if you guys are ready to get started, let's get into it. with the collection. I have here the entire collection from Becca and I have been trying this out for a few days now. I've had it for about five days so I'm able to kind of share like my full thoughts. I've been trying everything out in different ways so I'll be showing you guys application of both the palettes here in a second but I do want to quickly just talk about what the collection is. So this collection is in collaboration with Khloe Kardashian and then also her best friend Malika. The packaging is super cute. So you have here we have two different face palettes. This is the Made With Love palette from Chloe, and inside of it you have four different shades. So we have two blushes, a highlight, and a bronzer in both of the palettes. You have a really nice large mirror that is really, really nice quality. The packaging on these is super cute. And then you have here Malika's palette. Hers is going to be in the silvers. Chloe is in the gold. Same thing on the inside, you have a bronzer and two blushes and a highlight shade. Malika's I feel like is a lot more glowy. Chloe's palette has the matte bronzer in here. And also I feel like um, Malika's highlight is a little bit more like marbled. So it's a little bit more of like a rose gold highlight. Chloe's is a little bit more of like a champagne opal kind of highlight. So there's definitely a differences in both of the palettes. I think that Malika's is more geared towards a little bit more deeper skin tones. And then Chloe's is a little bit more fair. So here is both of the palettes next to each other. You can definitely tell the differences with the shade selection on both these palettes. Both of them are super pretty and I am going to show you one on each side of my face. I am wearing one on each side if you can tell the difference between which ones. I will show you guys the application here in a second. The face palettes retail for $44 each. The entire collection is available now. And then also alongside each face palette, each girl came out with two different lipsticks. So they each have two different lipsticks that come in this really, really nice packaging. It's this very pretty gold packaging. You have the Becca on top here and then the label is there on the back. So this one right here, this one is actually um, Malika's red shade and this one is called Brave. So here's what that one looks like. I will swatch all four of the lipsticks here for you guys in a second. We have Malika's Nude up next. This one is called Yours Truly. So each girl came out with a red and then also a nude shade. So here's Chloe's Nude. Hers is called Cupid's Kiss. And then we also have her red, which is Hot Tamale, which is the one that I have on my lips right now. I'm going to swatch each one of the face palettes alongside the matching lipstick so you guys can see kind of the full collection of each one of the girls lipsticks and then also the face palette. Also a part of their collection they have these little glow letters which I think are really cool. These are called the glow letters in Sweetheart. So it is a little cardboard container here that has inside of it these cute little X's and O's. So these are meant to be like a highlighter, a bronzer. You can use them on your eyes. And they're definitely really cool. It says that you can kind of smash them up and make them more like pigmented if you want to, or you can kind of use them with a brush. You can swirl it all together to like more bronze. And I've tried them a few different ways. Obviously, if you crush them, they are a little bit more pigmented, but um, they're definitely a cool product. I think they're very different. I don't know how much I'll reach into these, but I definitely think that they are kind of different and something really fun. The glow letters do retail for $18. I personally just wish the packaging was a little better. I these I feel like it's kind of just a little flimsy like this is actually like I said just cardboard I'm surprised that it wasn't with the same packaging as like the palettes or more of like a compact or something because I think that this packaging is just a little bit flimsy but it is a cute different product I feel like it's kind of something different for Becca and like I said that one is $18 and then the lipsticks retail for $24 I don't think I mentioned that so let's go ahead and get into the swatches so here are all of these swatches from Malika's palette. We have here her four colors in her palette. So you have the highlight, 
the two blushes and then the bronzer there on the end. You also have both of her lipsticks. And then I did swatch the glow letters right here. I just kind of swirled my fingers in there and got a swatch of those as well. All right, and here are the swatches from Chloe's palette. So you have her highlight here first, both the blushes and her bronzer, and then both of her lip products here on the end. So I have here the Becca Be A Light palette. This is the more fair to medium one. I used to have the deep one, but I've actually given that away since because it didn't really work out for my skin tone. But this one here is the light one. I got a lot of requests to kind of compare those next to the Chloe palette because they thought the shades in here were very similar to the ones in her palette. And you can definitely tell that the bronzers look similar as well as the blush here. I would say actually looks closer to a blush in Malika's palette. You can see that like kind of swirled pink blush definitely looks kind of similar. It's a little bit more uh, pink, I think, in the Be Light palette. Hers is a little bit more deeper. So I definitely think it's the same formula, but I don't think that it's the same products. I know quite a few of you guys were thinking that it was the same bronzer. Uh, they do look similar in here, but they're not exactly the same. I will say they perform pretty similar though. So if you have this palette and you like the bronzer in there, that's the only thing you like in there. Um, the highlight's definitely not the same in this palette as in the Be a Light palette. That one's kind of more of just like a soft highlight. This one definitely builds more of a punch in here. So I do think it's the same formula, but I don't think they're the exact same shades. All right, so now that you've seen the swatches, we talked a little bit about each one of the products. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the tutorial. All right, so we are gonna get started. I'm going to be applying one of the palettes to each side of my face. That way you guys can see how they apply on my skin tone, so I'm more light to medium, and you can kind of decide which palette is better for you. So we're gonna go ahead and start out here with Malika's palette. Here is what her palette looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to this side of my face. We'll use all the shades from her palette, and then we'll go ahead and do Chloe's palette next. So to start, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze. So I'm gonna be using her bronzer from the palette and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to my face. Because this is a deeper bronzer, I am gonna go in with a light hand. It definitely still works on my skin tone, but I prefer the one in Chloe's palette for the bronzer in these, but definitely you can still make it work. You can definitely tell how pigmented these are. That was just one brush, like one swipe in and then swirling it around. So they're definitely very, very pigmented. I am gonna go in a tiny bit more just to do this side of my forehead a little bit. I am using this brush from Morphe. This is the Y9 brush. I like using this one for like contouring and bronzing. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit to my forehead here. And I will kind of clean this up, I think, with a little bit of translucent powder. I'm also gonna bring a little bit of it down on my nose right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and move in to the blushes on this side. So in her palette, you have two different blushes. So you have this more orangey coral shade and you also have this pink shade and then you have her highlight in the palette. So for the blush, I'm gonna be going into this pink shade first. I'm just going to use that on the Shayna B blush brush. I'm gonna tap off the excess and begin to apply that. This is her, my favorite probably out of her palette, which is this shade right here. That blush is so pretty. I think it's really, really pigmented. It's really nice and pigmented on the skin, but it doesn't look like overpowering. Um, I know probably right now it kind of does because the bronzer, like I said, is a bit dark for me, but I feel like once you have everything on, like your eye makeup and everything, it looks really nice, especially once you carve that out. And then I'm gonna show you guys the coral shade. I don't wanna go too crazy here with the blush, but I'll put a tiny, tiny bit of that on top of the other one. I will go ahead and show you the highlight. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. I'm just gonna be using this brush from Morphe. This is the M504 brush. And this is a smaller brush, but I like using this for highlighting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that shade here. All right, and here is her highlighter on. It's really, really pretty, very luminous. It kind of just hits the skin just right. So I'm actually gonna spray a little bit of setting spray just to kind of melt this a little bit more into my skin here. And then I'm gonna apply some translucent powder and then we'll work on Chloe's side. All right, so I'm gonna let that side bake for a minute, but I am gonna go ahead and go in with Chloe's side. So I'm gonna kind of brush off this brush a little bit, make sure it's pretty much clean. And we're gonna go in with Chloe's bronzer right here. And this bronzer is like my favorite, I absolutely love it. I think it is so pretty. I just think for this one, it is a little bit, the formula of this one seems different than the one 
in Malika's palette. This one isn't a swirled, it is a matte bronzer, and that bronzer in Malika's palette has a little bit of sheen to it. So this one you are gonna have to build it up a little bit just because it is a matte bronzer and the formula is a little bit softer than the one in Malika's palette, but I feel like the actual color of this bronzer works much better on my skin tone and I actually love the fact that you have to build it up. I think it just makes it look so much more natural. Like you can tell how much more natural this one looks than this one, you know, it's a little bit more harsh at least on my skin tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of it to my forehead as well. Here is the bronzer all blended out on my skin. It's so pretty. And now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the blush shades. So in Chloe's palette, you have this deeper blush right here. And then you also have this one, which is more of a luminous blush. Like I feel like it has a lot of highlight in it. So what I've been doing is I've been taking this blush right here and I've been applying this one to my entire cheekbones. And then I've been topping it with the other blush. This one still has a bit of glow in it, but it doesn't seem as glowy as this one here. So there is what that one looks like. So as you can see, it's definitely very luminous. So even right there, I feel like that would look really pretty for just like an everyday look. You don't even need the highlighter really, but I'm gonna go ahead and tap it with this blush here. So just add a little bit of that onto my brush and I'm just gonna tap it. So you can see how much glowier that makes it right there. It almost looks like a highlight in itself, but now we're gonna really blend it up and add the highlight from her palette. So we'll go in with this one here and apply that just to the high points right here. Super, super pigmented, really pretty. I just think Becca does face products so well. Their face products are some of my favorites. Their highlights are just so luminous and pretty. They just look natural on the skin. Like they, this side just looks like it's just like hit with the sun, it's so pretty. Also this one just looks very luminous. Like it just looks like you're kind of glowing from within, which is what I really enjoy about the Becca highlights that I feel like no other highlight really necessarily gives me. So I am just gonna apply a little bit of this to my brow bone as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and carve this side out again and then we're gonna apply the X and O's to the eyes. Okay, so here we have our X's and O's. I do wanna show you guys what it looks like kind of as a bronzer topper. So I will apply a little bit over top of this side here where you can see where I applied Malika's side. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit just so you can see what it does. It just gives like a little bit more of a luminosity. I'll also apply a little bit to my other side as well. It's just kind of like a bronzer. I would call it like almost like a bronzer topper. It's very glowy. They also said you can apply these on the eyes as eyeshadow. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in to the darker shade in the little X's and O's and I'm going to apply that on my lid. So basically these actually work really well as eyeshadows, although they do have a luminosity to them. They're definitely like more of a glowier um, eyeshadow, but they're not too glowy to where it's like a shimmer. It's almost just like a glowy matte shade. So when you're using the darker shades, like you can see how pretty that looks on the eye. I'm going into the deepest one of the hearts that they have and just applying this one into my crease. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys the more luminous, like the X's, for my lid. So now for my lid shade, I'm actually gonna take one of the O's, which is gonna be one of like the more golden ones, and I'm gonna use my finger and apply it just really sheerly all over the lid. I don't want this to be too pigmented. I kind of just want it to look like I was just like sun-kissed almost. Like you can see, it just gives a little bit of sheen. It's nothing too crazy. I'm sure if I really just like built it all up or if I sprayed my finger or again, if I crushed them up, I'm sure it would give like a really foiled look. But I'm kind of just going for more of a sun-kissed vibe. So I don't want it to be too intense. I just want like a little bit of shimmer. So I went ahead and applied some mascara and now you can see here that we have Malika's side and then we have Chloe's side. So you can definitely tell like a slight difference. I definitely think Chloe's side looks a little bit more natural on me, although Malika's side still looks really pretty. I think that if you have like a more fair skin tone, I think that Chloe's side would look nice on you, although I think you can definitely still work Malika's side and her blush is definitely really pretty. I prefer Chloe's side for my skin tone, but I definitely think I'm gonna keep both palettes and I'm gonna continue to use both palettes. I do still like the bronzer. Definitely think in the summertime it's gonna work a little bit more for me.
So I'm really quickly going to show you the application of my favorite lip from this collection. So this one is Hot Tamale, and this one is also a part of Chloe's side of the collection. And I think that this red is just so stunning. I was wearing it in one of my videos the other day, and I got so so many requests on what the lip color was, which you can tell it just has a bit of like orange fieriness in it and it's just like still a red at the same time. It's so pretty. It's super easy to apply and very, very comfortable on the lip. All right, so there is Hot Tamale on the lips with the application. And then here is going to do it for the kind of try on portion of this video. Let's go ahead and get into my final thoughts on the collection. All right, so getting into my final thoughts, I thoroughly enjoyed this collection. I absolutely love the face palettes. I think that they are going to be a product that I'm using a ton. I think that both face palettes are absolutely gorgeous, depending on your skin tone, which one works out kind of better for you. I do think they both would work on fair skin tone, like I said, more medium to fair, but I think that definitely Chloe's is obviously geared more towards that, but Malika's palette is super pretty in itself, also would look beautiful on deeper skin tones, which I think is what it's more meant for. And then we also have the lipsticks in this collection, which I do really enjoy. I really enjoy the formula of them. I like all of these shades, all four of them I have worn and really, really liked. The only thing that I'm kind of like on the fence about, I do like, but I'm kind of could do like with or without it is the little X's and O's. I can't ever remember even what these are called, the sweethearts, the glow letters. I think this is a cool concept. I just don't know how practical these really are. It's not something that I'm gonna be using like all the time. I think it's a little bit hard to get the product out on these. And I don't know, it's just like not my favorite item that they had. I think it's really cute though. Uh, but I think everything else in this collection is definitely really, really nice. And I do think that that product's cool. I just don't know that it's like something I'm going to use every single day. So after that, that is going to do it for my review on the Becca BFF collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know if you are planning on picking up any of the products from this collection. I will have them all linked down below in the description box. I will see you guys in my next video. Do not forget to subscribe before you go. Bye guys. <laughs>